Hi. Hello. My name's Joshua. And I'm Julia. And we're here to learn how to draw. Why don't you come on a drawing adventure with us? Yeah, that's a great idea. Let's share, share a picture. picture. Let's see what's inside the learning desk today. Oh look, it's a banana. Do you know how to draw a banana? Come on, let's give it a go. So we'll start at the end of the banana. It's almost like a chimney shape. Now the trick with drawing a banana is you want to get all the contour lines in, which gives the banana that 3D shape. Get those, the peel of the banana. They're almost like a tail of a fox. See as the lines start to come in, you can see the shape of the banana shape becomes more and more defined. Keep following it round. So now we've got most of the skin done, it's time to focus on the main edible parts of the banana. Follow the lines, the curvy lines, which then gather at the top. Uh, it's really important they all join together. Oh, that's a delicious banana. Looks edible already. So now we've got most of the banana drawn, most of the shape drawn. Start adding, it's time to start adding a bit of colour. and a little bit of shadow. Starting off with a pencil, we'll just get some light shading on the areas which are a little bit darker. On the banana. It's what makes the banana come to life. On the page. Using the top of that pencil line, if you take a light coloured pencil like I'm using, it can give you some really good depth. The technique I'm using here is called cross hatching, where the lines go across each other to create depth. In the image. If I go over that in a little bit more yellow, skin, skin. Skin. So if you see now, the banana is really starting to take shape. It's starting to get good feel of the banana. The music just cuts in and get glue to get glue to get glue to
representational art is an evolutionary advantage that belongs solely to our species and one that we pressed into service alongside advanced language, the invention of the wheel and cooking to extinguish our competitors. So I'm looking at the banana. I'm looking at the banana and it's got sort of cross lines like these <coughs> um, I'm looking at the banana and it's got these dark lines going across the body just pick those up with the fine pencil each depiction of the long smooth perfectly yellow banana and every child's fumbling scribble of a yellow shaft was created using the same mental toolbox that guaranteed the survival and prosperity of our great species. So, keep drawing. actually wrong the way I've done the uh, shadow look but actually that's because I don't know why. that's because the way the banana was drawn and the way because for me the shadow was on that underneath of it but the way that the banana was drawn previously meant that I could see the bottom of it which I couldn't have seen anyway, anyway that no one's gonna notice And there we go, that's our banana finished. Great. Wow, Josh, that's great. So realistic. Thanks, Julia. I'm just glad to learn how to properly draw a banana. How about you, kids? How did you get on? That's great. I'm just glad we all had so much fun learning how to draw. Bye-bye. See you next week. Bye.